So the rest of the items are in this bag. I'm just going to start digging in and go. You guys know how I do facial sprays for days. So I have two bottles of the Evian. Love the Evian brand. I love the spray. I believe I may have a book. No, I think I gave away a bottle of my blog. I, I have a blog post related to the Evian facial sprays but especially for the summertime a little tip that you guys might want to do is actually put this in the refrigerator maybe like when you go in the shower and come, when you come out take it out the refrigerator it'll be so hydrated and refreshing to your skin trust me do that tip you'll love it next we have a CVS strengthening polish remover just a nail polish remover that I probably got free and that's what I use <laughs> MAC brush cleaner I don't know if this brush can is actually worth the price. I mean, it did what it's supposed to do, but I pref I still prefer my Cinema Secrets or my Parian Spirit brush cleaner in this liquid form. But what I can buy it again, of course, if I'm gonna need a brush cleaner, I definitely will purchase it again because it would be handy for me to get from that. But would it be my the first thing that I go to order if I was ordering online? No, not necessarily. But it's good to try. It was definitely good to try. This is a 7.9 US fluid ounce bottle. I don't know if that's still the same size that they sell. I'm pretty sure because this has remained the same for as far as I can remember now. So the MAC brush cleaner, pretty good. Of course, it's just an essential. <clears throat> and that's what I had mentioned before, the Parian Spirit brush cleaner. I have a full video on Parian Spirit, so I'll leave that link down below. But I love Parian Spirit brush cleaner on point. And that was a free... The um, small sample size was free with my purchase at, I think, IMAX or something like that. But uh, Facial setting spray. I told you there's going to be like mad facial setting sprays. You, you guys know how I do. But this is the L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Extended Setting Spray. Love, love, love this stuff. I actually need another bottle because I'm running out of my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And this, I can just go into the drugstores, grab and go. They actually have a smaller bottle than this. This one here is the four fluid ounce, but I believe now they started selling the one fluid ounce. So if L'Oreal is on sale, maybe I'll grab the one fluid ounce for now and then wait till L'Oreal has like one of them go go sales that they always have a 40% off, whatever the case may be. But this was really, really good. Definitely check that out if you guys are interested. It's the L'Oreal Infallible. I can't see these lights is like blinding me. Makeup Extender Setting Spray. Two pair of lashes that I used up this within the last maybe month or so. These are the Coco lashes and it was in the style Coco. This is the Kiss True Volume. And this was in the... Mm, I'm going to have a blog post coming about this next week. I think I mentioned this before. But I've taken the pictures and everything. I have a blog post coming about these. So definitely be sure to check out the Kiss True Volume blog post. That, and once it gets updated, I'll leave a link down below as well. What's the case video where I'll be dropping something, right? Okay, we have a pack of the e.l.f. Makeup Remover Cleansing Wipes. This comes with 20 in a pack. They were pretty good. Like, I wasn't mad that they didn't dry out in the inside or anything like that. So, I did enjoy these. And for like $3, you can't go wrong. So, I enjoyed these. My girl Beauty with Mika, she swears by these and she loves these. So, I gave it a try because she mentioned it to me. I still actually love my Neutrogena wipes and also the Avena wipes. Love those wipes. But these e.l.f. Remo makeup removal wipes, you got $3 and you need some wipes, check them out. I want a moment of silence for my cover girl, Queen Collection Bronzer. That broke, okay? Yes, as you can see, it's like very powdery. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's still part of left in here. But I just went ahead and bought me a new one at my local Kmart. So this one is definitely going in the garbage. I tried to salvage it as much as possible. And I know you can do the whole alcohol and press thing. But really for this little bit of amount, I wasn't even going to do it as a hassle. So. R.I.P. Um, I have the... Who makes this? Lancome, right? Okay, I have the Lancome by Casio. Double action eye makeup remover. Love this stuff. Anytime I go to Lancome and they have like those additional sets and stuff like that, I will pick one of these. I mean, you know, they usually give these as the free gift when they have like them exclusive little sets that if you purchase something, you get stuff for free. So this is usually one of the products that you have. Love this eye makeup remover. Always get it for free <laughs> when they're having those little sales. Look, a mini Urban K All Night. I told you guys I love my set and space. That's one of my favorites as well. Uh, I don't know how you say this. 
I guess it's La Latine, that's how I always said it, but of course I'm probably saying it with my New York accent, so who knows. But this is this brand, <laughs> I'll put it down below, this is this brand's lotion, and I, I've got to say, like, for the price that these things cost, I wasn't that much impressed, like, there's certain lotions that I can get and use and love, but this was not an absolute love, I mean, it did its duties, but... Would I purchase it again? No, unless it's like one of those sets and it smells really good because they do have different scents. <laughs> but this one in particular was, I can't even tell you. I'm going to take a closer up picture of this one so you can see. This is the one with 20% shea butter. I don't know if they all have 20% shea butter. I don't know which which flavor this one is. But I'll take a close up so you guys can see. So there should be a picture right here so you guys can see what that looks like close up. Now these two products I've been used up such a long time ago but for some reason sometimes you just hold on to things. So once I did all the changing around of everything and I went through my drawers, I found these two products that definitely need to go. This is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit which I absolutely freaking love. If you guys can see the inside of this, definitely um, I'm going to have a blog post coming about brows as well next week. So definitely check that out over on caseways.com. This one is the Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit. And this one I didn't hit pan as much as I did on the wet. And while I swear that dark brown is like the best shade ever for the freaking tail end. If I see another one of these, I'm going to have to pick that up. But the Milani Brow Kit, I just hit pan. In the, but as you can see, the colors are like way different. So this one, the Wet n Wild was definitely darker and matched more with my brows, but this definitely matched a little with the front of my brows. And I believe that's how I used to use it. Like this used to be for the back of my brows, this used to be for the front of my brows. But I hardly ever use powder for my brows anymore. But I would definitely, those are definitely worth a try if you want to work more with powder products. Definitely try these two brow kits out. This is the Coach Poppy fragrance. I think it's just the original Poppy. Love that smell. So. That's something I would definitely repurchase again, but love that smell. It smells so good. This is the Pink Armor Nail Gel. This is like one of those as seen on TV things that you see in um, like CVS and Ready. But it actually does work. Like I'm not the person with the longest nails and that's because I'm not consistent with it. You guys know I'm not consistent with anything. Like I don't, I'm not consistent with the blog. I'm not consistent with the video. But I'm not consistent with my nails either. But it definitely does work when I use it. My nails grow. Like I did my nails on over the weekend. Now it's the middle of the week so they're starting to check and stuff. Between me doing my hair, Chloe's hair, you know, things happen. But that's why I don't do my nails so much because I'm always constantly doing me and Chloe's hair. So... You guys understand why? It's the kids, it's the kids. <laughs> but Pink Armor Nail Gel, definitely check it out. It's really, really good for your nails. And I think it was worth the $10 that I spent. You guys remember that I had a lot of products back to Mac before, so I actually have my first two products that's going back to Mac next time around. This one is the Mac Prep and Prime Highlighter, and this one is in Peach Luster. Love, love, love this stuff. I actually love this highlighter more for color correcting as opposed to as opposed to highlighting because this one is like you can see it's like brownish and I prefer more of a lighter highlighter. But if you want to color correct, this did such a good amazing job and I would definitely try this one again. And rummaging at the end of the bag, I've noticed that the cover girl bronzer like it's like on everything. So sorry if I'm showing you dirty products. I just want to run through these really quickly. This is the Botanics Age Defense Hydrating Eye Cream. I picked this up at Target. When I buy it again, I'm always looking for new eye cream, so I wouldn't necessarily buy that one again. Uh, this is the Sugar. You guys remember Sephora gave us the Sugar Birthday Gift Set, and I finally used them, and I absolutely love the Sugar products. Definitely will replace that from Sephora. This is the Inglot Under Eye Concealer. It was good to try. I don't think I'll necessarily buy this one again. I love the MAC um, Pro Longwear Concealer, so that's what I use for under eye. But was it more hydrating than any other concealer that would be for under your eyes? I wouldn't say so necessarily. So that one. This is the Urban Decay Subversion Lash Primer. I absolutely like this primer. I use this primer up happily <laughs> with the Subvert version mascara that they have and this actually came in a deluxe set so I haven't used the big 
mascara that came. I just had like mad samples. You know you got mad samples of the Urban Decay Perversion. I'm actually giving some of those away. And yes, I wanted to mention an update about the giveaway. I did not forget about you ladies. I'm going to be... This is one of my laid back videos and that's just so that I wanted to get some content out to you. But I have a couple of days off coming up at work. I want to sit down, give you guys some updates. I'm going to report, report a whole bunch of new videos for you guys. And we'll probably try to get a schedule going because you guys know it's crazy. But I did not forget about the giveaways. The boxes are actually packed up, ready to go. I have all four boxes. The winners will be contacted within the next, probably over the weekend. Like within the next couple of days. Like I said, I have some upcoming days off from work so i'll definitely get everything together let you guys know what's up with the giveaway i'm gonna pick the windows um i'll contact them directly however whatever platform you guys entered on but like i said just stay tuned for the updates next week and we'll get into that at that time but yeah perversion mascara is what got us to that because i'm get that's part of the giveaway stuff so yeah the primer i love with the um actual mascara this one is the love chloe sample of the perfume it still smells like absolutely divine love that fragrance uh we have three liners here love you guys know i love the kat von d tattoo liner so finish one of those up this one i also love actually i love all these you guys know i'm a liquid liner i love the liquid liners so the lirac front of the line pro i definitely want to try that i'm going to buy that one again so those two that i would definitely repurchase again and so would i would definitely repurchase the l'oreal like if it's on sale like i said you guys know i love it for sale so if the super slim infallible yeah the super slim infallible liquid liner is on sale again definitely will scoop that up and the last item in here is my anastasia brow wiz and brunette this i want to actually repurchase again like you guys may think i'm crazy and some people live for this stuff but i absolutely you guys know i love my max spike pencil i love now the nyx products and i did a video recently on that so if you haven't seen that video i'll link that down below and you'll also see a card here but i love the nyx products <clears throat> so between mac and nyx I don't really have use for the Anastasia. Like, this one was a little hard to me. I was sad to see it go. because, But I was really sad to see this go because I was like, I spent all this freaking money and I only got that many uses out of it. These kind of products are tricky because you don't know how much product you get. And of course, you can go by the ounces and weight. But I like to know and kind of get a feel for how much further I have to go. For some reason, it just don't last that long. And for all that money, I'd rather stick to what I know. So, yes. Ladies, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I know it was a long one. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know what's the latest products that you've emptied out. If you have a re related video to this, let me know in the comments because I tell you all the time, that YouTube feed is crazy. It only goes certain times. It only goes so long. Like it doesn't tell you all the videos that you missed that you actually might want to see. I don't get notifications all the time. So if you guys have an empties video out, definitely let me know below. I'll definitely check your empties out. If you don't make videos, let me know what's the last few products that you guys emptied out. Make sure you subscribe if you're not so you can be here for all the give for all the updates and stuff that's coming up on this channel. We have big things planned. I'm trying to finish out this year strong. So until next time, beauties, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye y'all.